Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. Today we're in Allen, which is about two towns over from Oberkoken. We're actually about five kilometers from my house, uh, which is why I could take my uh, wife's Vespa over here. We're here today to visit Zeiss 3D Automation to talk about this. This is likely the probe system that you have on the end of your CMM. Have you ever stopped to think about the thought, design, and manufacturing it takes to take this and get it to your facility? Well, today we're gonna explore about what it takes to make this an integral part of your measuring solution. Let's have a look. Let's start with product development. I'm here with Jorg, Head of Product Management for Accessories. Jorg, a lot of people might think that a Styli is just a consumable for a CMM. What makes Zeiss Styli so special? We at Zeiss don't look just at a Styli. We think that the complete system is important for the machine accuracy. So everybody thinks a Styli is an easy product. But you see, it belongs to a system, and in the end, it belongs to a machine. And a quality of a styli can improve the quality of your measuring results. So the accuracy depends on high-quality equipment. And that is what we prove. Ah, that's great. Well, uh, I'm going to go have a look at uh, the manufacturing process downstairs. Thanks for your time. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so here we're making the adapters. But what's special is we're starting from raw material being fed right into a turning machine. This turning machine also takes that raw stock, cuts it, and then robotically feeds it right to the end. Extremely efficient, extremely accurate. Here we have one of the special processes where we prepare the shaft for the sphere. It's actually kind of cool, so uh, let's go ahead and have a look. Or we can't have a look, but let's just say it's something very special to make sure you get good quality probes. There are some processes that can be automated and others that can't. Here what's happening is they're putting spheres onto these shafts, but not just any spheres. These spheres are 0.2 millimeters, said another way, 200 microns, said yet another way, two human hairs. They're putting balls the size of two human hairs onto little shafts. I can't believe they can actually do it, but it is being done by hand. Okay, so all of those processes that happen uh, end up with raw material in one of these racks. Conversely, what happens is when an order comes in from the web shop, it ends up here. These people then put it into one of these boxes and it gets fed to the next process. The next process is cleaning and uh, marking, but it's done in a really special, efficient way with robots. Okay, now let's look at the final part of this assembly. Now, in this room what happens is the shaft and the sphere that we saw get put together and the adapter uh, get brought to this room after they've been cleaned uh, and they get uh, uh, glued together, put into the oven, and then final inspection happens over there. After final inspection, uh, it's cleared to go, goes to shipping, and goes right out the door. Here, Patricia is actually gluing the shaft and ball to the adapter plate. Uh, can I try one? Sure. One, two, three. 
How was that? Mm. It's okay, but not for the customer. So this is the last step of the process, which is shipping and receiving. Here's where everything goes out the door right to you. For standard styly, this process can take one day. And since this is the end of the road for us, this will be the end of the road for us. Uh, thank you for joining us at Measuring Hero, and we will see you next Thursday.